Yo, what is going on, you search and destroy savages? It is your boy Zeus, back again today with this first ever top 10. You heard me right, top 10. I've only ever done top 5s in the past, but I was literally forced to do a top 10 this week, seeing as there's so many freaking submissions. Like, it took me so long to go through all the submissions, but I think I've chosen the best submissions this week, and we are doing a motherfucking top 10. So without further ado, let's jump right into it with number 10. Kicking things off is Slayhurst here on Fringe Search and Destroy. Now, he hits something that I've tried literally a thousand times on stream. Like, I've tried to do this so many times and I've just had no luck. That is right. He just cross map no scope someone in the exact spot I try to do all the time. And he just drops his controller, doesn't care, ends up dying because he's so shocked he actually hit it. But in number 9, we have Jam Sam 108 with some intense rushing on Nuketown. Now he picks off the first one here, rushing up the bomb sites, cleans up the second kill, still red screening, doesn't matter. He is still on the move. He picks up his third kill there, sees a fourth, annihilates him. So he's already got four kills in this round, but that's not stopping him. He's still manious, maniacally rushing the enemy spawn. So he pushes the last guy up here. Up the staircase and picks up the five man in a matter of seconds. So he did actually end up cleaning up the ace there. There was only five of them to kill because one of them left game, but he picked up the entire enemy team in a matter of seconds. But what better than picking up the entire enemy team with a cooter than attempting it with the MVP? Out here is King Dado, and he picks up a double kill with my favorite melee weapon in this game. Like, this is just my favorite one. Don't ask me why, but the MVP bat is just the MVP. It is the most valuable. If you guys don't know what it stands for, MVP stands for most valuable player. And most definitely, King Dado makes his name known for being the most valuable player on his team. Already picked up five. The sixth guy here sneaks up on him, misses the first one, and then cleans up the six-man ace in SD with the goddamn melee weapon. But in number 7, we have AN Tinder with some of the sexiest sniping you will ever see. 1v3 scenario, picks up the double kill, mantles the bomb, but still manages to pick up the triple kill clutch, getting straight turn on quick scopes. That was absolutely amazing. But in number 6, we have Wim Games here on Fringe Search and Destroy, who is last alive in a 1v6 scenario up against the entire team with just an RK5. Now, the there are some extremely smart plays that help him get this clutch. Like, he sees somebody here, decides not to shoot at him, which ends up saving his life, kills one, and then backs the hell off. Like, he knows his one shot. He can't engage in any enemies or he's going to die. But he still manages to pick up one there to try to push in. He knows two people are out there, guns one of them, uses his heat wave because there's two people there, cleans him up, and already has it in a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, this is one of the quickest 1v6 clutches, and he's using a goddamn pistol. Like, that's all he had. And he ends up cleaning up the 6-1 there. But in number 5, we have Kados 11 on some MWR. Man, I love seeing some other Call of Duties. Throws out two nades. Like, you already know, MWR, there are nades everywhere. One behind him, managed to push in here, get the triple kill. Nades all around him. Like, this goddamn MWR, and he's still managing to rush around. This is a typical, like, slow-paced Call of Duty, but it doesn't look like it when Kados is playing. He's already picked up four, and now he's looking for the fifth, fifth one here. He's having a look around. Doesn't know where any... The last guy is. He's super excited. I'm going to have to show his reaction at the end of this clip because it's pretty hilarious. Picks up the fifth one there. There's one guy left. Oh! I got the whole six stun enemies. <laughs> he got pretty excited and I don't blame him. That was absolutely sick. But here we are in number five. We have Hyper Beast who is rushing on Nuketown. Now, he rushes to the blue car. This is my favorite rush route. He sees one, picks him up, sees a second. XR2 just straight bursting everybody. XR2 is like one of the best guns on this map. If you guys haven't seen my SD nuclear attempts, like XR2 just shreds this map. I don't know what it is, but this is the XR2's map. He's already picked up four kills. There are two enemies left. So he wants to get the six-man ace here. So he's having a look for the last guy. They're both camping, but he sees one pushed out, so he gets a kill. And now it's only one person left. He just killed his teammate, so he goes for the kill on this guy. Picks him up for the sixth kill, drops into Rejack, and actually gets a seven-man ace. Like seven of the motherfuckers. I haven't seen that in a while, but that was absolutely sick. But this is somehow even better of an ace. We have Grim Wrecker here on Havoc of all awful maps. Like, this map ain't that great. Picks up a double kill. The enemies have the bomb plan. It's only him and somebody else. So he's pretty much in, like, a 2v6 scenario. But his teammate doesn't do anything here. He picks up the fourth one there. 
Guns him. Absolutely destroys him. So he's already got four kills. Make it five. The guy goes into the Kush Cloud. Sort of distracted. Turns around. Lucky he does turn around. Picks up the fifth, sixth kill there, sorry. And then the seventh kill right here. He just got the seven-man clutch. Killed all seven enemies while they had the bomb down. Absolutely brilliant plays. And his teammate managed to fuse the bomb. But in number two, this is one of the sickest clutches I have ever seen. Like, luckiest, the bomb is down, right? He's in a 1v6 scenario. The bomb is down on the other side of the map. Like, where the hell are you going, man? You got to go defuse our bomb. He decides to cook a nade. I, I would love to see the theater mode of this nade. Like, where does it go? It takes out three of them. Like, that's got to be luck. Like, it, it, unless he's some nerd and knows some GB amazing nade spots that I've never seen. He just picked up a triple kill nade. Picked up the fourth guy there. Make it the fifth guy. has got the overdrive. Literally got, like, ten seconds on the clock. Pushing over the bomb. Sees the last sixth enemy there. Manages to get to the bomb with, like, one second to spare. Like, what the hell even? How the hell did he manage to pull off that triple kill nade? That was absolutely insane. But what could beat that? I don't know. You're about to find out. In the number one spot, we have Short Ostrich here, who is using the Afterburner perk, and a gun you rarely ever see anyone use. You see dumpster babies in every lobby rocking the Brecky. The easy-to-use shotgun, but he's rocking the KRM out here. The KRM isn't that great. Like, it's not bad, don't get me wrong, but it's no Brecky. Like, and he makes it work something cruel here. He uses his movement to get behind his enemies, sees one, picks the first one up, picks the second one up, sees a third, sees a fourth, the fifth comes out of nowhere and he literally just picks up the five on screen. I've only ever seen this a couple of times. Five ons are near impossible to get. Short Ostrich picks it up, so he definitely deserves number one. But number two was nearly, I would say they're pretty much equal. They were both insane clips. And I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode because I did enjoy putting this together. Some absolutely crazy clips you guys hit. Go send some love to the guys that submitted. I'll put all their channels in the links in the description below. And also, if you guys want to submit clips yourself make sure to submit them all the details on how you can submit clips and how you can make it into my next top five or top ten will be in the description below anyway that is all for today guys i really hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to titty smack that like button and if you're not subscribed smack that one too peace out bros